everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantabulous day. That's fantastic and fabulous all rolled up into one. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I have a fun Halloween card to share with you. We're not using typical Halloween colors, uh, but we are using a cute little die set. This is from Spybinder, so it's called Woof or Treat. It's a little ghost. Um, a little doggy that's dressed up in a little ghost outfit. So sweet. This is from the Spellbinders. I think it's the Hans uh, Hans Happy Haunting collection. But it's so sweet and very easy to put together. So I thought we'd make three pups with a little ghost costume with a fun background. That's not too scary. <laughs> we are going to start by doing some die cutting. And I picked out some colored cardstock. My idea is to create a landscape style card with three of the ghosts. Um, two of the ghosts will be a dark brown puppy. One of them will be, maybe the middle one, will be a light brown. And then his facial features, or all of their facial features, will be with some classic craft cardstock from Nina. And then let's go ahead and take some white cardstock and do a little die cutting with our ghost which is so cute. There's debossed area in here too. That it'll tell you where to put the 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 schnau the schnauzer of the of the dog here. <laughs> so let's take it out three ghosts. And then the puppy is so easy. There's a, a top and a bottom. So we'll do that with twice with the dark card stock, once with the light brown. The facial feature here will be with the classic craft and then there's ears that you can layer and then the puppy's nose we're going to die cut this out with classic craft i'll do this three times since we're making three ghosts three times here two times here one time here with these three ghosts for the little puppy could be holding a little um pumpkin halloween treat holder <laughs> so i thought we'd create pink pumpkins instead of traditional oranges Kind of shake it up a bit. So I'll try to get these out. And then I'll use the, the handle and the background of the eyes when you die cut this out with black cardstock. We'll do this three times. Now, while we're die cutting, I'm going to do all my die cutting at once. So I'm going to bring in another die set. And this is my Postage Edge Rectangles. Just love this set. I'm going to die cut out two panels with light blue cardstock. And I want a postage edge edge. So I'll die cut out this one with, it's this, this one is actually will fit on an A2 card. The second card's larger and this set is for a five by seven card. But I'll die cut this out here. And then I want a coordinating inside panel. So the next size is the dotted detail. I'm gonna cut this out with another piece of glacier card stock. Now I do want some grassy area for my ghost. I think it'd be cute just having them floating in the middle of it, but I wanted to kind of ground them. So I'm bringing in some green card stock and Spellbinders has a color block scenic scape die set. It's not this one. This one here is the sealed twine. I have them here just to because I wanted to save a magnet. <laughs> but this is one set, I'll link it below. But I'm sure if you don't have this set, you can always use a pair of scissors and just freehand it. I'm gonna use one of these and I'll die cut out a little grassy area. After I die cut this out, I want a continuous pattern with this die with a dotted detail. So I'll take this and cut it out also. So the bottom edge here will have that dotted detail. Okay, I have a little bit of die cutting to do. You know the drill. I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine and then I will be right back. Okay, looks like a lot, but it really isn't only because I have three of these cute little ghosts. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna put together one and then I'll do the rest off camera. Let's see. First, we're gonna bring in our glue and I'm gonna go ahead and add a glue at the very bottom. We're gonna tack down our ghost here. It's 
so far so good. Now for this part, I think it's easier just to put a little bit of glue here and down the middle. And then what we do is take, actually, <coughs> next, before we add this, I'm going to add a little glue at the ears. And then I'm going to put the little ear pieces. Do I have two of the same? There's debossed area, so you know exactly where to put it. And I have two of the same here. That's... Add these. Like so. Okay, then I want to take this piece and the little dots of the eyes here go right in the center. So far, so easy. I was thinking about putting googly eyes here, but we'll see. Okay, now for the facial features, I'm going to bring in some small foam squares. And we will add this. <laughs> so cute. Now for the nose, I went a little bit darker. So I'm, I have a brown Copic marker. This is my E70 nine and I'm just gonna color in the nose with my all three of them actually with my marker if you want to die cut out your nose with black cardstock or dark brown you could do that but sometimes this is just easier I'm gonna go ahead and add this and that is all there is to this one let me see Let me see if, let me see what our Google eyes would look like. Let's see, I have some smaller ones. Sometimes Google eyes are cute, sometimes they're not so cute. No, I don't think I like those. Maybe. Now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add some glue behind here. And then I'm going to take a thin piece of white cardstock. And we are going to cover up those eyes. And I know this might be a little weird, but I'm going to bring in a pink marker. And I'm going to rosy up the cheeks here. Maybe that's a little too pink. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my colorless blender and lighten that up a little bit. Okay. Just to make it a little cuter. <laughs> so that's our little ghost. I'm gonna put a large foam square behind here. Maybe a couple of them right down the middle because we are probably gonna overlap them. And I'm going to finish making these, but before we do, to create this here, to create the pumpkin holder, you just add a little glue to the top piece, just glue it to the, the, the black piece, and you're done. I'm going to add a foam square behind here also, and the doggy will be carrying it. I want it at a little bit of an angle, like that. One down, I want to finish the rest up, and I will be right back. Okay, we have our little ghost all good to go. I'm going to go ahead and create my background next. 
This panel is going to go directly on my card base, and I'll use my tape runner to adhere it. We'll just tack this right in the middle. And then I'm going to take my hillside, put some adhesive behind here, and I'm going to tack it down to my blue panel. And then we're going to add some adhesive. This is just going to go right in the center of that postage edge. And as I'm looking at my little pups, I'm thinking they may be too big. We may just shrink it down to two. So I think I'm just going to use two of my, my ghosts. I think three is just too many for my card today. So we can actually save that for another card. We'll put this to the side and I'm just going to add these to the side here. I wanted room for my greeting and in fact my greeting is with a stamp set from Spellbinders. I don't know if they still have this. It's the Dance and Halloween Sentiments and have a frightfully sweet Halloween. It's so cute. I think we're going to add that right up here. So let's bring in an acrylic, actually, let's not bring in an acrylic block, block because <laughs> I, I want to bring in my stamping positioner. We got a lot of bolt going on here. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to try and I'm going to remove it. I went ahead and removed one of my my happy little ghosts and I'm going to use my memento ink and we'll add a greeting up in this top corner that says, have a frightfully sweet Halloween. I think that's a good spot. And maybe I'll just steal this little pumpkin here from this guy. I don't think he's going to mind. Let's add this one right here on our little heel side. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's one angry pup. I took his candy away. Okay. I want to see what it would look like if I put a little dot inside the eye here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Put a little black dot inside the eyes. Let me see if it'll you can pick it up. Make the eyes look a little bit better. Okay. Now, of course, we need a little sparkle. But what are we going to bring in here? For finishing touches, I'm bringing in my Aura AB Gems. And we're just going to add some, some shine. I'm going to bring in my glazing glue and go over the entire pumpkin. I'm also going to bring in a little bit of sparkle. Not very much. I don't want to take away from the pumpkin. But I just want to add a little bit of something here. This this one was from Fun Stamper's Journey. Spellbinders doesn't have it anymore, but I can leave a sparkle. Simon has one. It's called I think it's called um, Unicorn Confetti. I'll link it down below. But I'm going to tap this off. And 
I'm going to kind of push that sparkle away from the pumpkin's face. And that will finish off my card for today. Not so scary, cute little Halloween card. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining me again for a card making tutorial. Do me a favor. If you guys like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. What it does is it pushes my video out there and gives me a little bit more exposure for other card makers. And um, it does help out the channel a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you soon for another project. Bye-bye.